you can already tell here how these round shapes, these curves, are starting to play with the straights and giving it more a visual interest. So today we're going to take a look at how straights and curves work and I'll show you how you can use it in your work to create visual interest. I will show you some tips on how you can practice using or becoming aware of straights and curves and I'll show an example in the end of this video of how I used it in character design. So let's go straight ahead and look at straights and curves. In this first picture you might see that there's nothing going on here. But actually our eyes are still actively seeing meaning in this, in this particular picture. Nothing really is, is going on at the moment, but our eyes are active. So let's see what happens if we put on a straight line here. Yeah, something happens actually here. Our eyes will tend to follow this line here and going all the way up here. So there's something happening but it's still quite boring. So let's see what happens if we then have a curve. Then all of a sudden our eyes will start to move from here and then you could say a more playful way. This is, an, this is another travel that our eyes are making. Still, there's room for improvement. So let's see what's going on here. So here we have a combination of straights and curves so our eyes will tend to move this way and I oh what a surprise here we have a curve down to here and then we have a sharp curve here our eyes will go down here and then oh a large curve here so we're actually moving from a to b and this was a much more interesting journey for our eyes it's so interesting that we might even want to take the journey again or take the other way around. So this is what straight and curves are all about. Creating interest, visual interest. And straights and curves is something that uh, exists all around us. And a good example of this is in the human body, the human figure. And here you can tell from this cool key drawing how the human figure is full of straights and curves interplaying with each other. So here, for instance, we have a curve and a straight. A large curve here and a straight then another curve and a straight all the way through the figure we have this play of straights and curve and this is what really creates the interest even here within the figure we have the arm here going curve straight then straight and then a curve here another example is this bird here you have this beautiful curve going from the belly of the bird up here. Then comes a sharp straight here. Another less sharp curve. Straight. Almost a straight. Straight more. And then this fading curve here, which kind of echoes this curve over here. So our eyes are really going all the way around the bird, all the way down to the back feathers. We're going to go and take a look at a character design I did once. A guy called Dostor, a Russian bat. He won the Olympics many times. So when during my first sketch of this guy, you can tell that I've been planning on using these straight lines here, almost like a triangular. And it repeats in this triangular up here. And it was a good starting point, but it's still a bit boring because the only curve that's kind of contrasting with this shape is the back of his the back here and then this curve here of the wings. Everything else is basically straights. So what I did was is trying to loosening up the chest here, make it more round. Also his stomach I make round. You can already tell here how these round shapes, these curves 
are starting to play with the straights and giving it more visual interest. Also here I start to figure out how the wing should be and I find out that there should be a tear here of his wing. And this is where you get a curve and then a straight and a straight and a curve again. And this is what the eyes, our eye is gonna like this detail. It adds character but it also adds visual interest. We're gonna go ahead and just take a last look at how this character Dostor turned out in the end. See here. So here you see much more play with the curves and straights here. So curve, straight, slightly curve here. The wings have a beautiful, beautiful shape and play with straights and curves. And this is what uh, I drew this from, from uh, looking at videos of bats. So these beautiful shapes exist in nature. You can also see here, I have the arm here, curve, straight, and then straight. So curves and straight. This is what really creates the interest. How can you practice these straights and curves? Well, one of the ways is, and this is a way that I'm really an advocate for, is to do a lot of observational drawing. Because as you can tell, you already seen this, straights and curves already exist in the nature, in the world around us. So drawing the things that surround you will automatically help you to draw straights and curves. And you'll quickly see when doing imaginative drawings, drawing from your imagination, you'll see that you, uh, that you have implemented these straights and curves in your work over time. The other thing you might do is, like the character design, is try to play around with the shapes more. So if you have too many straights, you might wanna put in a curve somewhere or the opposite, if you have too many curves, then try to bring in some straights. This will add contrast and this will add that visual attention that, that you wanna have in your work. I hope you found today's video uh, helpful. Let me know in the comments about how uh, you find this phenomena, straights and curves, and how you use it in your work. Have fun drawing.